My name is Dr. Christopher Nielsen, one of the spine surgeons at Toronto Western Hospital. Let me introduce you to a new patient experience and education initiative. Please take the next five minutes to learn about cervical myelopathy. Let's start with a story, Patty's story, of losing the ability to play the piano. For many years, Patty has had pain in her neck that comes and goes. The frequency and severity of the pain, however, has been getting worse. Last summer, Patty was able to garden and play the piano without any difficulties. Since spring, she has been having more difficulty playing the piano, and she wasn't able to plant her garden this year. Patty has noticed her hands are becoming numb, clumsy, and weak, and her legs weak to the point she lost her balance, had a fall, and hit her head. Patty went to the emergency department after her fall, but didn't get the answers to what happened. She is having difficulties even taking care of herself now. She has an appointment booked with her family doctor to try to understand what is going on. The weeks that followed were marked by confusion and fear. With every passing day, I became weaker and more dependent on my family. I was unable to bathe, dress, or feed myself. My grasps were diminishing. I couldn't write or even hold a pen. My hands were swollen and cold. My fingers felt as if they were wrapped in bandages. When I tried to walk, I staggered erratically and lurched sideways. I suffered excruciating spasms in my body for hours on end. If your symptoms are similar to Patty's, then you are suffering from cervical myelopathy. What is cervical myelopathy? Well, it's an unhappy spinal cord. It is a result of pinching of the spinal cord. Similar to the shape of an hourglass, the spinal cord lives within the spinal canal. And through the natural degenerative process, sometimes the spinal cord can become pinched and unhappy. Similar to the picture on the right. So what are the symptoms that you feel as a patient? Well, the symptoms can be very varying. Patients will report having pain, weakness, imbalance, numbness, clumsiness, fear. But if we break down the symptoms to your arms, legs, and bladder, you may be experiencing changes in the way that your hands feel or the strength in your hands. You may be having difficulty doing things like buttons and zippers. In your legs, you may feel weak. Going up and down stairs could be more challenging now. Or you may have started to use a cane or a walker because you feel unsteady on your feet. And going to the bathroom can sometimes become challenging. Starting going pee, stopping or emptying your bladder are all signs that your spinal cord may be unhappy. Well, what are the recommendations from healthcare professionals? It will depend largely on whether or not you have mild, moderate, or severe myelopathy. For patients with mild myelopathy, we may be discuss things like surgery or provide education and close follow-up. But if you have moderate or severe disease, then surgery will be the recommendation based on current guidelines and recommendations from professionals. If surgery is the best option, it will provide at least a decompression to the spinal cord where we take away the pinching and provide more space. Oftentimes, a decompression is coupled with what's called a fusion, where we fuse one or more vertebrae together, and it will depend upon whether or not the surgery is done through the front of the neck or the back of the neck. So what's next? Well, we are going to consider the symptoms that you have we're going to look at your imaging, your MRI, your x-ray, or CT scans, and we're going to take into consideration the impact on your quality of life. And ultimately, we will make a plan together with you. And that plan will depend upon what severity of myelopathy you have, whether education and close follow-up is recommended, or at this point in time, if surgery is the best course of action. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this educational video. You'll see provided here resources that you can use following your appointment